Good evening and welcome to Coach World TV. My name is Terry Yaffe and tonight as my guest I have Doreen Guma. Hi Doreen. Hello Terry. How are you? I'm fabulous and Great. yourself? Very good. Fabulous. So Doreen has got a, 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 a boatload of stuff. Uh, I mean such wonderful, wonderful um, things she's doing. At, um, I'll just start with Doreen is founder of TimeToPlay.com, and time to, the philosophy of Time to Play is happiness, health, money, and work-life balance. And Doreen is going to tell us a lot about that and some of the very interesting and innovative things that she has done um, with Time to Play. And she is the author of a new book, If I Knew Then What I Know Now, <laughs> Our Quest <laughs> It's our quest for quality of life. So we're going to dig in here, Doreen. Oh, my Doreen, gosh, there's so much to talk about. Yeah, I, first of all, I love that title. If I knew then what I knew now, I think everybody Has said thinks, it. It, thinks, if I only knew then what I knew now, I could have gone to the moon, <laughs> or Absolutely. I could have been a rocket scientist or a surgeon. So. Absolutely. Tell, tell us about TimeToPlay.com first. Okay. And you how you even had this wonderful idea for this, this business. Fabulous. Um, Time to Play is a project that kind of came out of necessity to a certain point. Um, we all go through our life. And when I became 45 years old, I started to wonder, so what else is there? And I kind of formed Time to Play as my quest for quality of life. And mm -hmm. it, it's something that's very positive. It's not, I always say this, it's, it's funny, but I say it's not mylifesucks.com. It's <laughs> a positive way of looking at it, a reminder to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important yeah, I, thing I, I, that yeah. we can do. Um, I've worked in healthcare for 27 years. I'm a board certified healthcare executive and uh, I've seen the sick and sad. Mm -hmm. And I decided, there has to be a better way. Mm -hmm. There has to be something that we could do to take our life back. Mm -hmm. And so I decided, learn what you need to know so you can enjoy your mm -hmm. life. And so I started Time to Play for a lot of different reasons. Uh, talking to people, realizing that more than me was looking, more than me mm -hmm. were not happy. Right. Um, I just read an article that there was a poll that two thirds of the American population are not happy. And it's, it's sad. I mean, it's not like you're saying 5% of the people are not mm -hmm. happy. It's not like yeah. you're saying, oh, it, it's an insignificant mm -hmm. component of our population. Two thirds, mm -hmm. let's round it to 66% mm -hmm. of our population. Yeah. So Time to Play's goal is to provide resources for better life. And what does that mean is we have professionals under happy, healthy, have money, mm -hmm. and a work-life balance. And I came up with those ideas because if you take any of those away, you can't have quality of life. Mm -hmm. And people will say, oh, I don't need money to be happy. But you need to eat. Right. So if you can't yeah. feed your family, you can't be happy. Yeah. And I'm going to just interject here. Um, it's uh, astonishing. I'm, not, I'm not, not surprised that a good percentage are not happy. And certainly when you come up with time to play, I think about time to play. Who has time? You know, we live in such a fast moving, yes. s quicker than speed, lightning time that we don't always take the time to, as we say, smell the coffee or smell the roses Absolutely. and really enjoy life. Um, so um, I, I certainly can concur with, you know, people aren't happy. People aren't happy. They don't have time to be happy. They're such on this fast track it's, it's that, true. That, that, that they don't stop to make the time. And it's always, you know, oh, and especially I, I'm a coach, I work with a lot of people, and, um, you know, people think, oh, if it's just this, this is what'll make me happy. It's, it's, never. it's I'll buy this house, that's what's going to make me happy. Or, and then they get the house, and then it's, Oh, if only it's a car, right. a new car, and you know, and it goes on and on. If only, but it's they don't fill that empty hole inside of them. They're looking for the out here. Absolutely. And I'm, I have a feeling. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's in the book. It's in the 
book. <laughs> That's what's and in the I'll book probably as well. say it like five thousand times <laughs> before we're done. But um, it, it is honestly in the book. We yeah. had uh, everybody has a self-destructive behavior. Sure. Okay, and. Also in the book, which I'll just regress a second, is sometimes we're going through the motions in our life, and I talk about being on the hamster wheel in mm -hmm. the book. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't realize that we might not be in the perfect situation. We might not realize that we're not happy because we wake up in the morning and we go to work and we mm -hmm. come home and we take care of the kids and we go to the food shopping and then we mm -hmm. go to bed and we're exhausted mm -hmm. and we get up the next day mm -hmm. and it's the Start same thing over, over and over, the yeah. hamster wheel. Yeah. We don't realize we're not happy. We don't realize. We don't think about it. I we don't can think, think about it. We're know. just so wrapped up in everything. Mm -hmm. And the part that I wrote, one of my chapters is always striving for the brass ring mm -hmm. and proving instead right. of living. Mm -hmm. So that's right. something that is very important to take right. note of. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mm -hmm. When you get that awareness, it's like, oh my gosh. Yes. That's right. exactly that's it. Right. But mm -hmm. what you're saying is also in the book, <laughs> um, we are looking for something to fill a hole. A void, right. And, mm -hmm. you know, when I get that vacation, when I get that new house, when I get that new car, when I get a raise, it a raise, doesn't right, right, fill it. Right. And that's what the Always Striving for the Brass Ring chapter yes, speaks on. I, I can only imagine that that's exactly, and you know, when I work with clients who, you know, they don't feel good enough or valiant enough it's exactly unless it. they've climbed Mount Everest. Exactly. Well, and then know, if you climb, climb it, it yeah, won't but matter. But that's such an, a, so out of reach, mm -hmm. unless you happen to be somebody that, that cl climbs summits and has climbed Mount Everest. I happen to have a friend that did climb Mount Everest, but it's just a metaphor that we, 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 we set our standards Absolutely. so high that they're unreachable. So we're never good enough because we haven't reached that. Because but we don't believe in our heart that right. we're not good enough. And it's right. all in here yeah, too. Yeah, I'm sure. And look at the cover is Victory on the Mountains. Uh, yes, we have oh, there this. you go. But this is um, actually Terry's book and I wrote, oh, I wrote wow. Terry, and this is what I wrote too. Yeah. To me. Terry, it is so important for us to learn what we need to know so we can enjoy life and our duty to help others do the same, people helping people. And so that is for oh. you. But this, sentiment is exactly what we're speaking about. Mm. We need that awareness. You need the awareness. Right. You need to snap yourself out. You mm. don't realize a lot of times that you might not be happy. Sometimes you're just tired. Sometimes you're just, oh, you have a headache all the time or, or you're not hungry or whatever. Mm. There's things that your body physically manifests yeah. when you're searching. And we have to start, and that's the whole thing about the triggers, and we talked about this briefly before we came mm -hmm. down to the studio, of things that I've created in the, mm -hmm. the whole Time to Play mm -hmm. project. Um, we have the, the Time to Play shirts, or I gave, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I lost it. She lost I gave, it. <laughs> I gave uh, Terry a reminder to enjoy life, little this tip that you could keep in your pocket, but you don't need one of these necessarily, but if you want one, you know, call me or email me and I'll send you one. But this, this is, is too small to even look at. <laughs> but you put it, you put it in your pocket when you're life. having a bad day. Don't let the bad yeah, day get I, you. Snap out of it. And it's such an awareness. And that's where this coaching is so important mm -hmm. because it gives us a tool, mm -hmm. right? It gives us a realization that we don't have to do that behavior right. we can stop mm -hmm. ourselves and, and change and i think that's what part of what coaching is about that people come to us whatever they come to us for would and whatever they want to achieve and to really look at they get to examine their lives which on a day-to-day -day basis most people don't because they're not self-aware exactly because you, it's hard to be self-aware if you're on a road behavioral pattern, exactly. getting up and going to work and coming home. And I think if you ask somebody, you know, I think of Fiddler on the Roof where I think uh, the wife asked the Fiddler, are you happy or something like that? Happy? What do I know about, you know, or do you love me? What? What do I know? Right. You know, and I think um, people don't stop to think, 
I personally did not grow up <laughs> at the household. So I, I didn't really know. You know, I thought I was happy, but certain things made me happy. Right. Um, but in my quest for, and my search for who I am and what, and becoming self-aware for all the modalities I did, I'm finding as I'm getting much older that I've settled into kind of feeling at peace. And that's you important. know, is that happiness? I think everyone's got their own definition of what happiness means. But if you can find, for me, my right. perspective, inner peace, right, um, inner satisfaction, right. You know, even going to the grocery store, I have a routine. If I get up Saturday morning, I get up really early. I'm at the grocery store at seven thirty. Right. Get my shopping done. Get to work out, and then I've put in a whole day. So. And you're you know, at peace. I, I'm at peace. And that's important. Yeah. So um, if, if we're not at peace, and I, as we were talking, the word stuck mm. came to my mind. Yeah. That's why I wrote it down, because I didn't want to forget. <laughs> Sometimes people find themselves stuck, right? Right. A lot of people. We all do. So if we're stuck, mm. see, that's part of like time to play. It's, it's a big, huge quality improvement project. Mm. Um, Quality improvement is looking for the root cause, looking for the cause. Why are you stuck? Mm -hmm. Are you happy at work? Did you just take the job to make salary? Mm. Um, yeah. If you are not happy, why are you not happy? What makes you happy? Like we were talking, mm -hmm. okay, what sure. gives you peace? What mm -hmm. makes you happy? How do you unstick yourself if um, you don't like where you live? Do you continue to live where you are just because You've always lived there. Right. Well, right. Don't be stuck. Right. right. We are on this earth for a short period of time. And yes, that is so true. We don't want to be stuck. We mm -hmm. want to enjoy yeah. our life. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole basis of the whole project. I was very interested uh, when we spoke at dinner about time to play and what it really, how it manifests. And you really went into a lot of detail. Maybe you could go into a little bit more detail about, you know, your benefactors, the, the charities. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And what, what, it, what the mission and the real purpose of Time to Play is. Absolutely. Because it's much bigger than a name, Time it's, to Play. It's a very, yeah. very big project. Right. And basically, um, like I said, it is a quality improvement project. It's quality of life, mm. us. Mm -hmm. having quality and of life. And you have resources that can help people correct. to provide that quality of correct. life. Is that correct? We have, um, and the same with the book, mm -hmm. there are 17 contributors in this book. And it's the same with the um, uh, website itself. Mm -hmm. So we follow happy, healthy, have money, and a work-life balance. Mm -hmm. So in this book and in the uh, website, are amazing professionals mm -hmm. that I have found along mm -hmm. the way and I have chosen uh, to help. So we have like Rebecca who wrote a chapter on quality of life and she is a happiness specialist mm -hmm. and she's on time to play and she writes mm -hmm. articles. Um, we have Joe Farina who wrote about what do you dream about and what are you worth um, mm -hmm. in here and he is mm -hmm. a business uh -huh. coach uh -huh. um, and he writes articles. And we have um, Break Up to Breakthrough and Heidi wrote a chapter on that and her experience with divorce. Mm -hmm. And uh, she is a relationship Mm -hmm. coach and she helps mm -hmm. people right. reinvention mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. reinventing their right. life mm -hmm. so this is what we have like this type of thing and they're real people people helping people mm -hmm. and that's the huge basis mm -hmm. um, basically time to play as far as I can best explain is a grassroots movement for us to take our life back I mentioned the two-thirds of the population are not happy mm -hmm. so what are we doing about it well, there's more the question, what are they doing about it? That's exactly it. I think it. the first step has to be somebody has to recognize that they're really not happy. Exactly. And that's a first step, you know, self-awareness. Somebody doesn't come to coaching unless they, or therapy, right. or some type of modality, unless they start to see, I know that happened for me. I was really stuck. I was very unhappy. And I took a step. Right. It wasn't coaching, it was therapy a very long time ago. But I, I probably said to myself, there's got to be a better way of living. Exactly. 
and you know somebody has to take that first step for all of time to play to kind of come into play right. if you will well that's how it did start i right. said it started as mm -hmm. my quest for quality mm -hmm. of life and mm -hmm. the book is our quest for quality of life so um basically yes but my vision is people helping people i did write about one of my biggest pet peeves is people don't care about somebody else until it affects them. Yeah. But if mm -hmm. we are more wide thinkers, if mm -hmm. we are looking at the big picture, when you say two-thirds of our population are um, not happy, or the suicide rate, which is something very big. My brother wrote a chapter called Lost Then Found. Mm -hmm. It's in the book. Mm -hmm. And um, the suicide rate in our society, it is the 10th leading killer in our society in oh. general. Mm -hmm. In our 15 to 24 year old population, it is the third leading killer. Oh, is that what you, that it's was the question I was going huge. to ask. Why it's do you huge. think that it is? Is it hopelessness? Kids that they they have no feel no direction. They feel hopeless. Um, peer pressure. They um, feel lost. lost. They feel alone. Um, I have three children. My youngest is 18. My oldest is going to be 22. And um, they're hopeless in a way you know they're like what kind of job are we going to get how are right. we going to make enough money mm -hmm. do you look yeah. at the news it's all negative negative right. negative you right. don't hear anything positive mm -hmm. um you know what we have become a dependent society instead of us taking ourselves brushing ourselves off picking ourselves back mm -hmm. up making our own jobs mm -hmm. we're waiting for people so what do you hear for in mm -hmm. high school go to college mm -hmm. get a loan mm -hmm. get a job be in debt retire and die that's it right what do right, what are we yeah. taught and yeah. we they, need to be resourceful they don't see i think you know going back things were very different and um there was more opportunity i'm not that there's not opportunity today right but it's very different than it was and kids you know looking at the landscape of today's society with with you know the unemployment rate and Absolutely. they're thinking of going to college and the the unbelievable cost of college, I think it becomes overwhelming to them. And, you know, dependent society, I think kids, th this also goes with an entitlement society. Absolutely. Where kids feel entitled. Well, you I, know, I, I think that self worth and self esteem play very much into mm -hmm. everything. I mean, in our adult life as well, if we don't feel we are good enough, sure. and we've had that discussion right. briefly, I mean, it's, it's enough for a 10 week seminar, I think, but you know, <laughs> we, spend three hours we have probably. like literally <laughs> five minutes. So, no, but um, self worth, self esteem, and I think that mm -hmm. that's so important in our children. Mm -hmm. um, right. If you're feeling worthy, mm -hmm. Are you going to attempt suicide? If you no, feel you're strong and you're amazing and you're a vital part and you're loved and you're needed, mm -hmm. you know, so we're working on some programs now that's, through Time to Play yeah. to try to help with that. And I, I had um, yes. told Terry, and I have this teeny little teeny tiny <laughs> picture, this is but so great. Um, it's we created Be Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Right. It is a makeup. Um, again, we're talking about the triggers mm -hmm. to snap mm -hmm. ourselves out and to mm -hmm. help us enjoy and life. Perfume, right? And we have a, a, a fragrance for men and women coming out, also called Be Extraordinary. Because if you spray yourself with it every day, I can be extraordinary. I am extraordinary. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is a reminder to be that you are amazing and strong and confident and and beautiful mm -hmm. in everything every day. Mm -hmm. So Michael Waterman is my uh, co-founder for mm -hmm. Be Extraordinary. He is on the Time to Play project and he is our makeup and beauty expert because um, years ago, and that's how I came upon Michael, um, but I worked for 27 years in healthcare, like I mm -hmm. said, and 14 years in a hospital. So we had a program the American Cancer Society mm -hmm. started called Look Good, Feel Better, mm -hmm. and it was in the mm -hmm. very late 80s. Mm -hmm. And if you feel good and if you look good, Right. It helps you. Sure. Absolutely. And so that's how Be Extraordinary mm -hmm. right. came because right. every day you put on a lipstick for women. <laughs> well, maybe for men, too, but that's okay. If, if you're if home, you, maybe. If, if you like it, that's okay. We don't judge here. But, um, <laughs> you know, when you put on that lipstick and you pull it out and it says Be Extraordinary, what is right. it telling that's you? Right. It's, it's so that's strong. Really and the great. fragrance I'm so excited yeah, for because that's going to help. Yeah. And, oh, donations for anything on the website. Everything we do 
there is uh, a benefactor. So I found a, a organization called To Write Love on Her Arms, and people can Google that and find it. It's uh, a suicide depression awareness organization mm -hmm. that offers hope. It's mm -hmm. a not-for-profit. It offers hope mm -hmm. and they provide resources and help people. Right. Everybody should love and be loved and mm -hmm. that's yeah. one of their missions and philosophies. So, Quick question. Um, what if kids come from a loving family? It I doesn't mean, matter anymore. Uh, right. That, you know, and, and they, they, they get the love and they get, you know, the accolades and, and they get everything and then they jump off a building. I mean, it you happened know, in I my family less than a month ago. Um, mm -hmm. Thank God uh, my relative is okay. She's 16, beautiful, fabulous family. It doesn't matter. Right, that's that It was doesn't my matter. Question. And so it's, it's the self worth. It's in right. your heart. Right. It's in your heart. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what is causing it specifically, but mm -hmm. very interestingly, if you do some research, um, the suicide rate in our society from the 50s, and that's how I had, mm -hmm. you know, uh, research whatever, is it's pretty consistent. It's not that it's... Um, it's changed It's much? not really, really changed since but the I 50s. But you haven't heard. You don't... That's you it. You know, it's like anything. Um, that's you don't, it. You haven't, you know, you don't have the whole internet and, you know, you can get something at your fingertips. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm really it's in shocked. the book. <laughs> I'm really shocked. <laughs> no, it's discussed about it being so taboo. Mm -hmm. It's such a taboo. Mm -hmm. I think that Mental that's illness too. I'm absolutely. sure. Absolutely, and I think mm -hmm. that that's one of the things. I think if people aren't scared, because I have a very very close friend, Mary, and her daughter actually had been bullied, and she mm -hmm. was doing self harm. She was cutting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. And she is so strong, and she's helping people now mm, know that they're nice. amazing. She's mm. amazing, amazing, beautiful woman. Mm. And she hit it. She hit it. Yeah. The same as mm -hmm. my relative, mm -hmm. and I'm not going into yeah, any no, more of that, but of course. she hit it. Mm. You know, when she's ready to tell her story, she will. Mm. And my brother told his story in here. And it's not far from any family. And oh no! It no, happens to I, us. Right, How many I, people in, get depressed my on a daily? Too. Right. Um, stories. So um, that's true. I wanted to do two quotes. One <laughs> was what I, I flipped through some of the uh, pages that Doreen had sent to me. But, um, one quote by somebody in the book, Richard Evans. He had the quote. Yes. Which was, "Don't let life discourage you. Everyone who got where he is had to begin where he was." And I love that. I mean, that really kind of popped out at me because we all, you know, were somewhere. Absolutely. And to go back and to um, think, oh, if only, like, you know, if I only knew then what I know now, well, that can't happen. Right. Um, but, you know, where, we, and, and not to make ourselves wrong, like where we were is where we were, and we Absolutely. couldn't be anywhere else and do maybe what we could do today because we've moved so far Absolutely. along. Absolutely. That quote's been hanging on my wall for the mm. past two and a half years well, since I started mm. this idea of Time to Play because if I can tell you how many people told me I'm crazy, how many people have discouraged me, mm. how yeah. many people told me you can't do this, you have to pick one target market, guess what? Mm. Everybody deserves to enjoy life. Absolutely. Every single one of us. Wow. And my goal is to help a million people. That's, well, that's my a goal. big goal. Hey, so what's your website? Start Just if anyone <laughs> wants, listen, let's start with the website. <laughs> and the so it's time, it, the words time mm -hmm. to play, T I M E T O P L A Y, time to play.com. And um, you'll find the book there, you'll find the cart, the makeup, um, like everything, and our professional resources, which are they give of their time. Um, I don't pay them, they don't pay me. You know, we just believe in the mantra of people helping people and, you know, trying to help our people. We have a few minutes left, I think three and about. Um, maybe I'll, I'll have your quote and then you can okay. work off of that. <laughs> Where there is a dream, there is an opportunity. And Doreen actually told me that that was her quote. So tell us about that. How many of us have a dream mm -hmm. and we let it go? Mm -hmm. and so many. This, so many. this is the opportunity. Mm -hmm. My goal, again, is people helping people. And if somebody out there is watching, has a dream, 
and has something they want to do and something they want to help. My thought, again, the people helping people, one person alone, it's sometimes hard. It's hard to, to maybe start or it's mm -hmm. hard to maybe have enough sure. courage to start. Um, and we were talking and I briefly said, a million people make pizza. Well, how do you break through the clutter? How mm. do you break through? Mm -hmm. And that's where Time to Play's goal is. We're little people. And in the book, uh, chapter two uh, says, who am I to write this book? I'm just mm -hmm. one five foot two woman from Long Island. <laughs> yeah. It's the truth well, with a know. vision of hope. Mm. And guess what? I'm, I'm Stature just- Stature doesn't matter at this point. I just want to help, you know, that's it's it. It's just, it's what's in here. It's what your vision is, you yes. know. Your vision is bigger than your five foot two frame. My, so. my <laughs> vision is as humongous as I can possibly, but I'm, I'm really just trying. And the other thing that I want to just throw out for people to remember sure. is be grateful. Mm. You know, mm. we are in the best country in this world. Mm. We are. And we don't realize that sometimes. Things yeah, get hard and they yeah. shadow our, our vision and, you know, we, you know, we lose that's sight. so true. Be grateful. Um, and most of us aren't. No. We really aren't. We don't take the time to be grateful, to say, wake up and say, I'm so grateful that I'm alive today. Whatever Absolutely. life brings me. And, you know, life Absolutely. isn't fair, as I always say. It just is. And we get the great the not so great, and probably a little of the ugly, but um, all, you know, we have to